have revenue from arguments and copyrighted music. So I don't ever come try. on, Ma. What is that? I don't know <laughs> what the hell that was. <laughs> hey, everybody! It's Sound Past Expiration Day, being thrifty over fifty, and Mom's still learning how to mute YouTube. I did mute it and went on to the next video. What the heck? I you got click mute, you click next is what you did. Yeah. Son of a gun. <laughs> Still learning. Still learning. <laughs> but look what I've got. I got I got an update today. Hold Woo on. Hold on. Hey. Go Tribe. We're back. But it sure is strange, folks. If any of you watch baseball this weekend, we have to hear... They're piping in the sound of the crowd to, to the baseball players, so it's not dead silence for these poor guys. And uh, I'm happy to say we tried two out of three from the Kansas City Royals. And uh, in fact, on our uh, new kid that pitched, we had 14 strikeouts in six innings. So, so yeah, tribes, uh, tribes, tribes back. At least it's fun to still watch. <laughs> and. How's your weather? Hot. We're still hot. You guys, I, I, we were 88 today. It's, we, we got rain like two days, two nights ago. And I think the humidity is so bad, you guys. On my deck, the water will not evaporate because the humidity is so high here. You know, normally it, it goes in a day. And uh, two days ago, you know, it, we still got puddles on my deck. It's crazy. We had 102 yesterday with 8% humidity. We sat in the pool for about three hours, played Ooh. cards. I mean, it was such a perfect day. It was not hot. And 102 truly is not hot in Vegas. Yeah. And no wind. Like, it was just perfect. It was like the yeah. most perfect day to sit in the pool. We had, we had our first pool party of the season. Two friends. Well, hey, you know. Two friends and an extra pug. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, we haven't dived. I've been to my sister's pool once. You know, I just haven't gone out in the public all that much. So, you know, I just... Haven't been to a pool much. One time. That's it this summer so far. And and uh, the hottest summer we've had in ages. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. So it's kind of kind of rough. Kind of rough. That's for sure. All right. Oops. Oops. I got yep. a long little brand up at the top there. Did you see the little baseball thing I did for you? Whack. I did. I like that. Thank <laughs> you so much. I was just, you were starting to talk about baseball. I'm like, oh, I should have a little, uh, little baseball ball being hit. All right. It's my background. I got a new background tonight. I, I saw that. Hold on. Let me uh, let me make yeah. you full screen, Mama. Yeah, I added some Hawaiian flavor, so you know. And Santa Claus, you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I finally figured out how to make them work too. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. All right. So before we get into uh, our nine one one, our SOS shipping, uh, I'm going to tell you about who's having problem shipping, and it's pretty much everyone. But first, first, if you recall. We uh, a couple of weeks ago we talked about adding a YouTube video to your listing. Mom's doing quite well at it, and I've seen all of you post your listings. You're, you're all getting finally getting the horizontal, yay! Yeah. But I, mom had shot her last video with her old phone, then got a new one. So what was your old phone? Was it an eight? An eight, yeah. I and, and you have an eleven now. Yes. Okay, so I want to show you the difference. So here's her listing for the TV VCR. She had the video in there, and when we showed the video. Uh, it, I was like, Ooh, this has to be, there we go. This has to be the old phone. And she goes, Oh yeah, it is. So <clears throat> they were shooting the TV VCR combo showing that the VCR works, but watch how blown out it gets as yeah. it goes through this, uh, Indiana Jones preview. So you can't even see it and can't see it again and blown out again. Okay. So that's the eight. And the mm -hmm. mom just sent me the 11. Which, sorry, it's not, you know, in the dark, but, you know, I just did it. But look course. at that. Not blown out at all. You can no. see it all. So if you have not updated your phone in a long, long time, here's a prime example of why you should, because yeah. your stuff will look so much better. Oh, for sure. For sure, everybody. Yeah. It's night yeah. and day. Nothing's blown out. Right. So I'm going to go back in and, and change that. Now, Jason, I've never deleted a video. I just revised my list. Oh, no. We got to do a delete a video show now, too. Yeah, I don't now, know how to do you that. You just click on the check mark next to it, and you go to options and delete. And okay. they always say, are you sure? Because once it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. Yep. Okay. All right. That's good. Yeah, Don Don said, "Wow, big difference." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, sure. I I see people who fall in love with their even not just cell phones, their twenty year old cameras, and I get it. Being comfortable is awesome, but let me tell you, the time you take to edit the photos and your camera moves slower than a modern one, 
the the time if you invest if you figure out what your time is worth then you're like it's worth it to buy that new phone because nice. it's so fast yeah, looks so I good i know I mean, especially I especially low light if you're shooting anything in low light with these with these 11s and and those you are on the androids your your modern ones too have these great cameras low light is not a problem ever again here's my new cover oh very nice yeah i got i got a new cover too yeah oh nice got the crack right. mine says oh wahini yep <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this pandemic that is sweeping the nation. And no, I'm not talking COVID. I am talking crappy shipping practices. Now, that, look, this isn't just limited to the little sellers like mom and me. It's to everybody. And when I say shipping problems, I don't just mean your item didn't show up in, in fine condition. Here are some examples. Can I get an amen? Uh, so the first one here is from Disney. It is their new pop. It is the Jungle Cruise. And typically pops are little tiny guys like this. But this is the whole boat. It is huge. Huge. I ordered two. I paid for two. The invoice said I received two. And there was one in the box. That's, that's so one. bad. So bad. So here's a multi, multi-billion dollar company not paying attention. Now, the, the nice bottle of rum to the next, to the right of it, is Appleton 12-year. It's a lovely bottle of rum, costs about 40 bucks. Uh, uh, my wife had got me a gift certificate to this online uh, booze company, and I wanted to get a very expensive bottle of rum, so I bought Appleton 21 year for $150. The 12 showed up. So now we have employees not only not paying attention to quantity, not paying attention to product, or the person packing and shipping is dyslexic. Yeah, that's so good. So, I contacted them and said, hey, uh, and here was a problem. We opened it and drank a little bit. And then I looked at the label and went, huh, that says 12, not 21. I, uh, so I said, hey, hey there, booze company. <laughs> you sent me 12 instead of 21. Seven days go by, eight days, nine days. I finally emailed them again. And before they responded, the 21 showed up on my doorstep. And I'm like, wow. And then I'm thinking, what a great company. We're keeping the 12. Yeah. That's awesome. Cut to two weeks ago. They are hounding me to either ship the half empty bottle back because what are they going to do with that? Plus, that's illegal. Right. And or will, will you pay for it? No, I did not mess up. You go make the employee who messed up pay for it. And here's the kicker. They have a spot on their website. Did you get the wrong bottle? This must happen so often. Right. They have to have a clickable link. So it is an epidemic of crappy. Sure. Find their website. Did you get the wrong bottle? Mom, mom, you are killing me. Mom. I, got I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. <laughs> You're interrupted by flow, mom. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get back where I was. There I am. Okay. All right. Here's the capper though. This is from an auction company that ships million dollars, millions of dollars of products around the world every year. I ordered a shag print from them, and this is how it showed up. They used two sections of bubble around it. It was a good box, just not enough packing. Look at this. Look how tore up the back is. And when I reach out to them with the pictures, they're like, hmm, we'll get back to you when we figure out what we're going to do. What? You don't have a process in place when the customer receives broken goods? Yeah. It's been four days. I haven't heard back from them yet. That's, that's terrible customer service. I mean, that's... I'm surprised at them, Jason, really. So here are giant companies. Now, I show you that because I expect more out of all of you because you're all hanging with us. You're watching our shows. You're rolling in the thrifting board. There, we're, we're trying to help everyone, everyone be a better shipper. Everyone. So yep. tonight, that's what we're going to talk about. And let me switch screens here. And here's how we're going to talk about it. All right, chat. What do you see here? What do you see in this picture right now? And I'll wait because when I say words, it takes about 30 seconds for me to see your guys' responses. Right, right. So what do you see here? Yeah, it wasn't uh, let Shag know about it. It wasn't from Shag. It was from an auction house. So Shag, although Shag did the artwork, Shag had nothing to do with that piece. Yeah. So so I'm bummed. I like the I like the frame. It was purple. It's my color. I know. Oh. I know. So nice. Easy ships. Okay. No, I'm kind of being specific. What do you see here? This is not like uh, an around the way question. There we go. There we go. CD, jeans, mugs, DVD. It's actually a board game, but I understand. <clears throat> oh, let me, uh, let me get rid of that. I hate when they have the, whoa. 
All right. So most of you see a CD, a game, a tiki mug, jeans, and some books. Here's what I say. <laughs> Wait, where did it go? Breakables, media mail. Here's what, <laughs> here's what I see. I see bricks of weight, and that's how you should look at all your items. I don't care what it is. You look at you look at all your items as bricks of weight. I don't see jeans or CD or a game. I see a one and a half pound brick, uh, excuse me, half pound brick, one and a half pound brick, and a three pound brick. That way, when you go to ship it, you're not stressing over and over, oh my God, how do I ship this? What's the cost? Now, we all tend to sell the same thing. We all have our bread and butters. Y'all know I ship CDs, super duper easy. Y'all know I ship tiki mugs. Not as easy, but once you get it down pat, pretty easy. Uh, you know, mom and dad ship big stuff. We'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but you all have your thing, whether it be jewelry or uh, jeans or books, you all have your thing. So once you kind of know, and there tends to be an average of whatever your thing is. Uh, so once you kind of know the average, the only time you got to pause in your day is when it's outside the norm. Okay. So let's look at, oh, whoops, I forgot to get rid of that slide. Let's look at five items real quick here. We're going to look at a CD. We're going to look at jeans, tiki mug, board game, and a set of books. <laughs> okay. So let's go to the CD first. And there is none better than Spice Girls. Okay. When I see a CD, here's what I think about. They all weigh four ounces, one pack. Now, there is an asterisk. If you have a double, sometimes it's a, a, a skinny cardboard, so it's actually lighter. But I would say 96% of all CDs are going to be four ounces. I charge $4.99 first class, never think another thing about it. My fear is a lot of you look at every single product and do what's called calculated shipping. I have never done calculated and what that means is I know exactly what I'm going to charge for my brick of weight. Yeah, mom does not use it either. Never. Yeah. So those are doing calculated every single product, <clears throat> excuse me, you grab, you have to weigh and measure before you send it out. If you start seeing them as bricks and get the understanding of how much that brick costs to ship, it don't matter if that brick is full of books or full of jeans or full of CDs. It's the same brick, okay? So you've got to... You got to look away from what the item is and just think about the brick of weight. Okay, jeans. Jeans uh, weigh on average one to two pounds when packed. Now, I don't mean little kid jeans, and I don't mean big gentleman jeans like seventy-two waist. Those are our extremes. They will be different, but the average pair of jeans, the average pair of thirty-eight waist, thirty-two inseam Levi's, is going to be between one and two pounds. I charge seven ninety-nine priority mail because it can go in a padded flat rate envelope. I never think about it again. I haven't thought about how much jean shipping cost since the day I shipped my first pair of jeans. Okay, Tiki Mug. Weigh between two to three pounds when packed. Now, if it's round, I do the FOMO method, which I was going to debut a new video tonight, uh, a, a, a refreshed video, but I shot it so I, I shot a new one so long ago, the rates have changed. And I'm like, oh, whoops. So, I will be getting a fresh one done by Thursday night show. So if it's round, I can fit it in a padded flat rate envelope, which is $7.52. So I charge 10 bucks, I make 250. If it isn't round, if it's got, if it's tall with horns, like this good looking mug, I got to <laughs> put it in a regular box. And so I know it's going to be $12.99 around the country because if it, if it's not in a regular box, it could fit in a, a medium flat rate. So $12.99 is good. And again, I never think about it ever again. Now, board games will be a difference in size, but again, there's going to be a kind of an average. They all weigh about four, three to four pounds. I charge $14.99 priority mail. I never think about it. Now, you might be saying, hey, Jay, some of those are bigger and heavier and longer, and they'll cost more. And I'll say, you're right. Now, that'll be the day when I'm shipping like a three-pounder that's extra long to Augusta, Maine, and that one cost me $17.99, so I lost three bucks. But... The average is going to be around the $14.99. The fact that I never think about it again means I have saved a ton of time thinking about it. Oops, it's got an offer for $115. I'll be accepting it in a second. Uh, <laughs> I never think about it again. Did I lose three bucks on that one going to Augusta, Maine? Absolutely. But two things. Maybe I'm now more competitive in the shipping because mine was a little bit lower and I didn't think about it. I never thought about it. I didn't stop, weigh the game, measure the game, figure out the box. I know how to ship a game. 
So I lost a couple bucks on this one, but I saved myself time. Your time is worth a couple of dollars. And I will take the high five. Thank you. All right. And then lastly, a set of books. Now, and, and we're talking domestically right now. International is definitely a little bit different. We are talking domestically. So if you have that big set of books and a, a set weighs between four and five pounds, I charge $9.99 medium mail, never think about it. Because I don't know if you know this, you can ship like a million pounds of books for like $4. <laughs> so if you haven't done books before, medium mail is so cheap. It is slow, but man, is it cheap. It sure is. Yep. So yeah, so Becky, because Becky, all she does is jewelry for the most part. She she knows it as it's four ounces, eight ounces, or over a pound. That's kind of where everything falls in her norm. And so once you know those things, you don't got to think about it anymore, okay? All right. Now, what's nice is we all use Pirate Ship, right, everybody? Everyone's using Pirate Ship, I hope. I hope, right. I hope. And here's sense. why you want to use Pirate Ship. Now, this is going to involve a little more time than the norm, but the money savings will be great, so it is worth those few seconds. Okay, so I had to ship a package to uh, South Carolina, I think. And here, although this box isn't huge, it is heavy. It's five pounds. So it is 12 by nine by four and five pounds. If I ship through eBay, that is $15.66. Now, Pirate Ship has a thing called cubic rate that is way cheaper because if we ship, move over to Pirate Ship with the exact same package, $10.98. That's a savings of $5. Imagine doing that on three packages a week times 52 weeks. Right. That's a lot of money. So, again, once you get comfortable, like, I know my pair of jeans are going in that padded flat rate. I don't have to leave eBay because seven fifty two is the best price. But I got something that goes in a box like this, and it's in, in the, 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 the box isn't all that big, although it's heavy. I know my cubic rate is going to be way better on pay, on a pirate ship. Now you should get to the point where you're so comfortable. There is no thought process. Like we just move back and forth seamlessly and endlessly as we ship because we know we're going over here to do a pirate ship and we're coming back to eBay. Yeah. So it, it is an extra step, but the savings is crazy. Oh yeah. Uh, I had a, one of my friends who's a mug maker was was overpaying three dollars a box a box now not every box because of the ones that were shipped locally close to them they weren't having that overage but say a third of them they were overpaying by three bucks now three bucks as a one-time deal don't sound that bad three bucks times a hundred mugs every week times 52 weeks thousands of dollars thousands you yeah you bet not to mention the savings on international with pirates now, yeah. I never said pirate ship is always cheaper. I, did I say that? No. Nope. I didn't say that. I said in certain situations. So you got to know when uh, when you need to look over there. Nope, you don't need to worry about pirate ship for first class. First class is going to be the same anywhere. Now, if you're just sending something to somebody that's not like an eBay thing, first class, you can print it off on pirate ship. Yeah, that's the nice thing, Jason, because uh, you, you know if you're going to send something, like if I, if I was to ship something just to you, I'll go into pirate ships and so I can still print my label and still get the discount. If, you know, if you're going right to the post office, uh, you can't do that. And you can't print out a first class shipping label uh, on USPS. You just can't do it. Right. Yeah. So. All right. So we're getting to that. Civiz? Uh, Civiz? I guess. <laughs> oh, I'll talk Civiz? about that. <laughs> <laughs> I All got right. One so Here's the, here's the only time you should pause and figure it out because this is where you don't want to be wrong. Hey, when you sell things like big old water skis, oh, who's <laughs> listening to that? How yeah. about a wind up crank baby swing that I spent a lot of my youth in? Yep. Or how about this light? Now this light isn't big. However, you're going to need to box it well and pad it well. Yep. So you're going to need more padding than say like this speaker would because the speaker is dense and really not breakable so you're going to need these bigger packages now 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 we're going to move into fedex and look at all our fedex options yeah do you want me uh okay let me just preface this first everybody when you are going into fedex home delivery uh your specifications are up to 150 pounds and up to 108 inches in length 
and 165 inches in length plus girth. Mark that down because you'll need to, to remember that until it becomes second nature to you. You won't have to you know, be looking it up. But remember that. Um, delivery on, on a FedEx home delivery is usually one to seven business days. I find mine gets there in two or three days in most cases. Um, also remember this. Home delivery has an additional surcharge per package of $3.80, which gets you know, put in by eBay when they bill us for you know, the eBay uh, for the home FedEx home stuff. Um, delivers to all 50 states. Now, the difference between FedEx home and ground is very easy. FedEx ground only delivers Monday through Friday. Home delivery is seven days a week, even on Sunday. They do now, Jason. I don't know if you knew that, but they do. So remember that, you guys, okay? Okay, so there's a couple of different ways to figure uh, uh, how much your package is going to cost you. Uh, this is a method that I have used. Uh, you can see my screen there. So you go to, you know, I type, as you can see in the Google bar, you guys, you type in FedEx shipping. Then I'll come down here and click on tracking, shipping, and locations. Okay. And then it go well, this went right to it. Uh, usually you have to put in your uh, zip codes from and to. Okay. This one popped over right away, Jason. I don't know why, but it did. Close out that little COVID warning at the top so we see more of your screen. Uh, yeah, get rid of that. Okay, all right. So you click on rate and ship, guys, right there. Okay. Oh, yeah, and that's right. This that comes next to the. Uh, come on, let's go. Moving slow. There it is. Okay, from I put in my zip code four four zero six five, and then it will pop up Newberry, and you must put that in. Okay, and my furthest point is going to be California, so I'll go nine zero one six, which will pop LA. Click on that, okay? And depending where you live, you got to put in your further zip code for you. Now, it's going to be my packaging. So as I come down here, let's say I'm going to ship a package that weighs 8 pounds, okay? And put in my dimensions. Let's say it's 20 by 10 by 6, okay? Then just go down here. You'll see where it says show rates. Click on show rates, you guys. And you're going to see all kinds of figures. You want to scroll down to the bottom, to that cheapy one there that's going to cost me $24.12. Now, remember, $3.80 tacked onto that. So make sure that you're adding that extra expense in your delivery charge. So that's how I do it. So mom told me that, uh, hey, she goes, hey, here's what I'm going to demonstrate today. I'm like, okay. hey, I'm going to show you an easier, quicker, uh, better way to do it. And she goes, yeah. okay. But I wanted you guys to see that because mm -hmm. it's one of those things where you should always try and um, figure out your issues on your own by Googling. Googling fixes everything. Like, uh, and I don't, I'm not really throwing this person on the bus, but they found a iPod uh, at a thrift store for 99 cents. It's like mom figures the other day. But she asked what iPod it is. Now, I had no problem answering, but just a quick Google search of the different iPods, you would find a graphic within 10 seconds that showed all the iPods over the era, over the years, and you would quickly see it. So there would be no waiting for someone to answer. Now, luckily, I answer quick, but those are the kind of things that you don't need to wait for someone to show up. Um If I Googled the SSS on the bottom of, the, of this mug, I probably wouldn't find what that stood for because SSS is just not. So I this is where I would then say to the group, hey, what's SSS? Who's the manufacturer right. of this? Uh, so make sure to try and Google first. So mom did that. I'm like, hey, mom, check this out. Yeah, so I, I have to see this. All right. So <laughs> what you do when you want to figure out your actual cost, because if you're a top rated seller, top rated seller plus whatever you got are, you're going to get your discounted rates from eBay. Now, don't forget, I don't want you to go ever, ever, ever to the counter and pay for shipping, whether it be USPS or FedEx. That is the most expensive way to do it, okay? Think about this way. Think about this. Always remember this. If you rent a car when you're on vacation, you have to return it full of gas. If you stop at the gas station that's right next to the airport, you're going to pay a lot more for the gas than if you would, would have stopped four miles before the airport and got gas. Same thing. Walking up to the counter makes it cost way too much. All right. So what I do when I got something weird like a water ski or a wind-up swing thingamajiggy, 
Uh-huh. You you are going to have to pause and figure out, make sure you have the right box before you even put it for sale. So okay. you're going to need to know the weight and the measurements. Go into something you've sold on eBay that is a far distance from you to get an idea of what's going on. So this is a, a DVD I sold a couple, uh, couple a month ago to South Carolina. And I'm going to pretend like I'm printing a new label for this customer. <clears throat> so eight pounds. 20 by 15 by four. Just Maybe pick random numbers. You don't want to show them how you got there? Is no, you're, you're printing a shipping label. I would assume everyone knows how to print a shipping label for well, your customer. Well, yes. Yeah, you just go to your item and click print shipping label. That's it. Okay. Plus, I can't show them, huh? or I'll be showing the customer. Right, 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 right. So you go to print a label to item that's already been shipped. Now, of course, don't finish that, but... If my box is eight pounds, 20 by 15 by four to South Carolina from Las Vegas, it's going to be $30 and one penny. When I click the FedEx, doo -doo -doo -doo, now here are my options. $13.56 with home delivery, $14.83 with second day, and $16.61 with smart post. So you know exactly what your FedEx is going to cost you. Right. So I don't see now, how you Don't that. forget... You don't yep. want to purchase that label. <laughs> You're just using this for research purposes only. Right. Any any questions there we need to? Yeah, do you use FedEx for your water skis? Yep, that's yes. all she uses. Yes, always. Hmm? And uh, what else did I see? So this is how I always check. Now, like I said, most things, we all ship the same stuff. You don't right. need to check every time. But... On things that are a little weird, a little shape weird, a little heavy, or both, go pick something far from you, check it out, and still pad it. Like if I had something that weighed this much, I would probably do here's what I'd probably do I would do standard delivery. It's a very generic setting you can do on eBay and put in $19.99. Now, if it ends up going to South Carolina, I am going to go FedEx and I'll make about four or five bucks, five, right. six bucks. Right. If it's going to LA, or Phoenix or San Diego, because I live so close, it'll be priority mail for about 13, 14, 15, 99. So I'll get they'll, they'll get priority mail and I'll still make a couple bucks. But that way, when I do the standard, and I only do the standard on bigger things, I get to pick and choose how it goes. And that way, easy peasy. Now here's the only hiccup, and this happened to me. Because I had the standard, a dude had P.O. box in his address, and oh, you wow. can't FedEx to a P.O. box. Now here's my problem. Not so much that my assistant didn't notice that, and, and she's well-versed in that now. eBay shouldn't allow the process to continue. Right. If it says P.O. box, and I'm trying to put a FedEx label, there should be a pop-up warning that says, are you sure? Exactly. And I but don't there know isn't. Yeah, there isn't. There isn't. What's the difference between FedEx Smart Post and home delivery on FedEx? Eh, it, as you can see, Smart Post has no insurance. Right. Home delivery has $100 insurance. Right. And Smart uh, posts could be slower. Slower and more money. And, and look at that FedEx two-day. Yeah. Uh, it'll get there quicker and it comes with the same insurance. And FedEx two-day and FedEx home delivery, in this case, are uh, $1.30 apart. So for that buck 30 I'm definitely going two-day. And let me ask you this, Jason, because you know, that'll pop, that'll pop up, of course, on mom when I'm, I'm doing my, my larger items. Sometimes it's great and sometimes it's real expensive. What makes the difference there? Do you okay, know? What was the first part of that question, Ma? Okay. When I when that happens to pop up, sometimes we get one heck of a deal, like 87% off, you know, and yeah. it's, cheaper, it's cheaper than the other things. But then other times it's way more expensive. What makes the difference? I, I don't know where I, I don't know where in the figuring out algorithm behind the scenes. I don't know. I don't know. So that's why I, I I'll, I'll never teach always do it this way because you gotta look. You gotta yeah. look, and so oh, if I you can go that. today for a dollar more, just even if you're losing a dollar, it's so it'll be there so much quicker, and your customer yeah. will be so much happier. Absolutely. It's a buck, All right? Uh, on Gene's question, yes, Gene, on FedEx home delivery, they will add a surcharge of three dollars and eighty cents. So make sure you put that uh, a total of your money of your shipping charge uh, into that. You know, affix it so you know you know you're, you're going to be charged almost another four bucks. So. Sure right. So this in this case, if we charge $19.99, we're good and we still make a couple bucks. Right. Uh, is FedEx the only service that does not accept a P.O. box? No, every service, the only thing that does 
is USPS. It's a right. postal box. So only one that can is post office. Yep. All right. Any other questions? I hope we got everybody. If there's anything, please so, let us know. So for my horror stories to the mo this moment right here, make sure when you're shipping, you're double checking your labels and you're making yep. sure the right packages go in the right box. Make sure it is packed properly. We've shown so many demonstrations of my dad using pool noodles and stuff. The the absolute worst thing, the way to ruin someone's day is they open your package and it's broke. And that shag print was broke in the same moment as I only got one of my two Jungle Cruises. So what a crap mail day. As I'm opening the shag print, I can hear it's broke. Yeah. And then I go, all right, well, at least I'll open my two Jungle Cruises. Oh, nope, I only got one. <laughs> so, I mean, talk about ending your day on a low note. You're like, man, everything I got in the mail sucked today. <laughs> one of those, you know. <laughs> no, it won't change by the time you sell the item. That's what eBay's charging for it. Uh, the only time that comes into play is if you happen to have a customer that is way out in the boonies, there might be a surcharge after the fact. However, the average customer doesn't live in the boonies. We all have customers that live in the boonies, yeah. but those are few and far between because the majority of people live in populated areas, just yeah. kind of the nature of the beast. Yeah, Teresa, I've, I've really never found that to happen. So pretty much it stays the same. You know, it just depends on what you want to add. Like I always pad my stuff, but because I ship so well and I've worked it to the best discounts, when I charge $19.99 for shipping and it's only going to cost me $13.56, I'm still under everybody else because I have figured out the most economical way to ship it. Same with international. So even though I'm making a couple bucks, it doesn't seem like that to the customer. Someone just... I was helping somebody with a tiki mug question in the thrifting board right before I got on and someone was selling a box of tiki mugs and the price is right for me to buy them and reflip them. However, their shipping quote, holy cow, $72. Yeah, I know. Now, I know. they obviously oh. don't know about FedEx at all because yeah. I am not buying a box of mugs with $72 shipping. Ain't no way. Yeah. Yeah. So Nelly, you would make your, your FedEx shipping charge $14 instead of 10, 10 bucks. Make it 14. That's three dollars. Good job, Lisa. Good job. Oh, yeah. So I'd love to hear those success stories. All right. I think we've covered it, right? Good. Uh, any more slides? Nope. Okay, I can get rid of that oh, screen. Good, good, good. Now, so this is the first. We've never done it this way. Uh, and I've, mom and I have been doing our show for four years. Yeah, four years. So uh, there's gonna be a part two. So I've never done the same topic on both my shows. So Thrifty Business on Thursday night, 8 o'clock East Coast, 5 o'clock West Coast. Mark Levine's going to be on. He is the owner. Him and his wife, Robin, are the owner of Bubble Fast. They've been selling shipping supplies to online sellers like all of us for the past 20, 25 years. And so Thursday, we're going to get into more about shipping and boxes. And they invented a neat little thing called the Scotty Stuffer. And they're oddly enough, funny enough, Someone just asked, someone recommend using it in the group like half hour ago. And someone said, what's the Scotty stuffer? So yeah. perfect timing. So today we talked about kind of how to think about your products in terms of what to charge for shipping. Thursday, we're going to talk about uh, the shipping itself. Because let me tell you, bubble wrap ain't all created equal. You can no. save money on bubble wrap. The bubble wrap that Bubble Fast sells is more expensive. But the ones you save money on, you look at them sideways and they pop. So you yep. have to use more bubble wrap. So again, um, uh, the Honorable Judge Marilyn Million of the People's Court always says the cheap comes out expensive. You buy cheap bubble wrap, you have to use twice as much. You didn't save any money. Right. Exactly. None. Oh, and speaking of pool noodles, uh, season's over, kids. I know it's only July still, but pool uh, noodles are on sale everywhere at closeout prices. Yep. So if you've not invested in some pool noodles, today's the day or tonight's too late tomorrow's the day get them get them a before they're gone and b before the country gets shut down again go get your pool noodles and sit on them until you need them because now they're like 97 cents they'll be 75 cents they'll be 50 cents stock up and, and always keep your eyes out at garage sales i pick a lot up at garage sales for a quarter how would you figure out shipping large items on Macari? I don't list large items on Macari. Done. Easy peasy. Yeah, no. <laughs> so you got to build it into the price. Macari is so much easier if you just say free shipping, I'll ship myself. So you got to build it into the price. And use and and you can't use FedEx, but you could sign up and get your own FedEx account. It's a little more work. Brian uh, uh, in the chat had said that. 
and even get oh, a little bit I better rates. But, yeah. but again, now it's another step. We're going to another. So uh, ease of use, get used to it, and then then maybe sign for a FedEx account. Right. But I yeah. do have I did, yeah. Yep. Stacy said uh, Walmart had a ton of pool noodles. All right. So mark your calendar for this Thursday, Thrifty Business, 8 o'clock East Coast, 5 o'clock West Coast, Shipping SOS, Part 2 with Mark Levine. And uh, we're going to be talking about the products that you don't know exist that will help you ship your items. Kari Hendler, how the hell are you? Hey, Kari. Hi. Kari's mom's birthday was uh, yesterday. Tell your mom I said happy birthday. Awesome. All right. So uh, if you're new to tuning in, hello. We have a great audience tonight. Each week, we share a couple embarrassing and or cute and or funny photos of from our youth. So I uh, I knew we had some new people tonight, so I picked a doozy for myself. So first <laughs> off, let me share. That's my mama. Woo oh, whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Here we go. Well. <laughs> you got a preview of me. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, yes. I, the reason I picked this one, you guys, go. again, another modeling thing. This was, I was either around 17, 16, 17 in, in this picture. And but I wanted to show you the, the, the dress that I was modeling and the gloves. You know, we, we all wore gloves back in the day. Now I'm going to ask the chat. What kind of shoes am I wearing? There was a specific name for those shoes back in the day. Come on, zoom in. Come anybody, on. anybody? Have it in here. Zoom in. There we go. They're on the feet. On the okay, feet. while we're waiting for that, I want to, uh, Super Trooper said, Jason, that's why you and Peg are so successful. You don't stress the unnecessary stuff <clears throat> and try and find ways to make shipping and selling easier on your nerves. That's it. Exactly. That's it. You, you encapsulated it perfect. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> All right, Kari's there with mules. Whoops. Yes. Well, well, no. Yes and no. Yes. Greg, I mean, Greg said high heels. I, that's a guy answer. Kitten yes. heels. Nope. I don't see it yet. Uh, Cinderella. No. In Mules. fact, even on the the band that's in there. <laughs> Greg said Barbie shoes. <laughs> it's the name of them. <laughs> so if you ever find these, you guys at at uh, Chacha. You know, Chacha, when you're out thrifting, donkeys. These, these vintage shoes. You you want to pick these up. Dorsey. Yeah, in fact, actually, I, you know, Jason, mom, mom's going to dig out a pair. I still saved a pair. Peekaboo just... pumps. <laughs> I love these names. These are great. Sling heels. Nobody got it. Nobody. Uh -oh. Paul got it. White shoes. There you uh -oh. go. Jason, do you know? I have no ankle breakers. I have no idea. Have no idea. Okay. You ready, everybody? Deep toe. <laughs> nope. They were called spring elators. Spring elators. Right in my arch support is toe this. Toe <laughs> yeah, there was this. If you ever watched Blanche on on the on the uh, Golden Girls, that's all she wore was springalators, you guys. Um, but there was a band, a elastic band in the arch area, so that it would keep the shoe on. And as you walk, it, it did make a, a noise. But uh, they were known as springalators, and the, the the band will say right on there, Jason, springalator. All right. Okay. All right. Let's now go. for your thorough enjoyment, pleasure. It's time for Mama's boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right so let, let's dissect my outfit. Those are Terry cloth shorts, short yes. shorts. Look at those socks. I have no idea. Stace goes, what weird shoes do you have on? I'm like, I think they're dirty. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I want to point something out here. I'm nine years old and I'm almost as tall as Scooby-Doo. Uh, yes. <laughs> there you go. That, yep. If that's not fashion right there, I don't know what is. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. I'm sorry. I, I guess I should apologize. <laughs> so that's me, uh, my sister Jen, my brother Buzz, and my little cousin Robbie, who apparently Scooby Doo wanted to put his junk on Robbie's neck. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I am a fashionista. Oh, yes, absolutely. I think that was right. Kings, Kings Island, right? Wasn't that Kings yep, Island? Kings Island. Yeah, that's all. Okay. For those of you are new. Now we go to mom scores. These are the things that mom sold this week that uh, she sold well, quickly, or for a lot of money. Yeah, all right. I did run a sale this week, everybody. I did a thirty percent off sale. Of course, I got a lot, a lot of low ball offers, but you just counter. Don't let yourself again get in a tizzy over low ball offers. Just counter back and you know get you know what you hope to get. Um, so on this cooking at home, this was a twenty five cent item, Jace. And I did sell it uh, for the thirteen ninety nine <laughs> for the thirteen ninety nine. Uh, that was the sale price. So you know, books uh, just like uh, Debbie says, books do go well. You just gotta hang in there with them. They're not fast sellers all the time, but they do pretty good. Okay, 
All right, one of Dad's. So we just Dad, saw this. I know, Daddy. I just uh, found, this is the first one he sold out of the bump. What do you? I think. What did we buy that day? Six or seven uh, at seventy-five cents each, and he sold the that one went, went on sale, and we got the full price of the twenty-four forty-seven. <laughs> Robbie is still in therapy from that picture. <laughs> <laughs> that um that that one rasp jason is more than paid for i mean if we bought yeah, six, yeah yeah 75 cents so we're already making money you know we got four or five left to go so keep you posted on those okay well this they're danger i know <laughs> remember this was that beautiful playpen that we showed you guys um and it, it cost us five bucks you guys and i did take a, a, a lot of back and forth with the seller or the buyer, a really nice guy, and we ended up selling him to it for one hundred and thirty-five dollars, and um, and plus the shipping. And the shipping on this guy's uh, was uh, sixty-five bucks. So you know, there again, if they want the item, they're going to pay for the shipping. I mean, that's just the bottom line. Remember, we we shipped a bike back uh, a month or so ago, and it was a hundred and some dollars. I forget exactly what it was. The man wanted the bike. He paid. He says because I had local pickup only. He says, let me know what the what the charge is for shipping. He says, and I'll pay it. So don't be afraid to charge on your big items. Yeah, and, and, and that's the thing. People are like, well, I don't want to buy that because the shipping would be too expensive. No, no, you're thinking about it the wrong way. Right. You got to think, is this a product that someone somewhere in the world wants? And we all ship internationally, correct? Right. So if you got something that someone wants, they want it. Shipping isn't a question. Like, look, I wanted those tiki mugs because I would have made money on them, sell them one by one, but their shipping was nuts. I can move on from that yeah. because that was just going to be like, I can make a couple of dollars. Uh, Gabriel, this is called StreamYard is the platform I'm using that gives you all these awesome features like the background, the scroller. Yeah. We can do fun stuff like have this pug clean up the screen or we can do a little <laughs> hula action. See, that's all fun stuff. That is StreamYard. You check it out. Yep. Okay. Well, Halloween season must be here, I guess. Uh, I, I've had this for sale for quite a while. Um, and I, I've never discounted this, you guys, because I know the blow molds will sell. And this was a vintage uh, pumpkin blow mold that I did buy for two bucks and sold it for the full asking price of thirty two dollars. I, I think I think Charlotte's a little behind in watching it. Some people end up behind because she just said, oh, great. Mom's a model. And then there's that picture. <laughs> <laughs> I was nine, Charlotte. I was nine. <laughs> uh, I, I'm assuming this is lit up. It was not dark enough in that room. No, it wasn't. Because look, it barely, I can it tell it lit up. Yeah. When, you do the, when you do the light up things, your room's got to be dark so you can see it lit up. Yeah, good, good point. Real good point. But uh, yeah, don't sell your blow molds cheap. Like this. Look, boom, like, much better. Yeah, much yeah. Better. the color didn't come through as nice as I was hoping it would. It won't work in the dark, but at least yeah. demonstrate for the customer. Like, like, look, it works. It's pretty. Well, that didn't take long to sell, gang. Not at all. No, uh, I bought this, what, three weeks ago or something like that. And, um, I did take the best offer of 140 bucks, but it only cost me five dollars. So everyone uh, wants to know how you shipped the uh, the playpen. Did you take video and pictures? Uh, we didn't. Uh, we, we, hey, we. I don't know if you know this, but you host a weekly YouTube show, and we help people with shipping. I don't well, know if you know this. Okay, what we did was there was two boxes, a box in a box, because the the man wanted the original box that came in, so we put it in there first. And then we uh, put it in a, a TV box, Jason, that fit perfectly, you know? So we just slid it right down in there. So, uh, and that went home delivery, you guys. Um, let's see, I charged him 65. It actually cost me 55 plus the 380. So I was right there in the ballpark, made a few bucks of what, it, you know, what it should have cost me. Now, so. April said, how would you ship it international? And you wouldn't. That one would be, no. No. that one would be, um, oh. Not nothing's impossible, really. Right, I've, right. I've had a friend ship a two ton item, but for us, when I say us, I mean us just normal eBay sellers, buying sellers. You'll keep that. That's one of those rare times you'll keep it to domestic only and, and even hopefully pick up. Yeah. I, yeah, a lot of my heavy stuff that I, I take out my international shipping on my ad. Um, so Craig's excited because he has a pair of these in orange. Woohoo! All right, you got some money there. Are you Would you pay for this, mom? Five bucks. I pay five bucks on mine, guys. Five dollars. Yeah. So, you know, lots of good money to be made with those. The lamp yeah. is, uh, someone asked, lamp is 15 inches tall. Yep. Mm -hmm. And they are sought after, you guys, really. So keep your eyes open for those little babies. Uh, this is another one of those uh, cookie jars that mom had. You know, we bought a whole bunch at one time uh, that I paid five bucks for. And I let this one go for $20 uh, just because it was the last one. And it was, it had a couple of, some flaws in the lid. Yeah, I can see them. Yeah. yeah. 
I said, for 20 bucks, goodbye. <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah, look at that. See? So I, I was happy to get the $20 out of it. So we, we did really well on those cookie jars, Jason. We, we made some very good money. Sold them all. Oh, wow. Craig paid $20 for a pair of them. Get Ooh. them up, Craig. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Craig, Craig I, think, I think I saw a pair for like $195 or, or somewhere than when I was doing my research. Hey, I, I sold some books. Uh, this See? Is a look at that. Boom. Yeah. Uh, media mail shipping. Super yep. duper easy. Yep, yep, yep. It was, uh, you know, the full uh, 15, uh, uh, um, 15 books in the set of the Charlie Brown. I paid $2 for the set, and I did sell it for the 21 bucks, guys. I just decided, yeah, gone. Goodbye. And we will finish off with my one of my other larger scores. That didn't you saw sense. it last week right here on Some Pastor Expiration. I know. I mean, I figured it would. Um, I paid. I did pay forty five dollars for the Margaritaville mixer, you guys, but I sold it for two hundred dollars. So, and plus <laughs> the shipping. I mean, you know what? It was heavy. Oh yeah, that sucker ain't light. No, it was that, heavy. That is a powerful, so, powerful make yourself a Jamba Juice kind of thing. Exactly, exactly, you guys. So keep your eyes out for those. I mean, don't you know? You know, I, I don't buy everything for a quarter. That's for sure. But I spent forty five bucks on that because I knew. That you know, they'll sell. You know, you can get good money on those. Okay. And that's it. I think on my scores this week. All right. So, we uh, if you're new to the show, thanks for watching. Hey, do us a favor while you're here. Give me and my mom a thumbs up if you learned, especially if you learned something tonight. I hope you did. Okay. And if you've never, so thumbs up is right below my mom's head or should be. Yeah. And if you haven't subscribed before, subscribe. Now, those of you on mobile, sometimes it's tricky to find the thumbs up. Just do us a favor. Next time you're on your laptop later on tonight or tomorrow, just pop back in my YouTube channel, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and hit the uh, bell. The bell lets you know when we're going live. Mom and I do this show every Sunday. I do Thrifty Business every Thursday. And I've been adding a very short, like 10, 12 minute uh, scores of the week video in in the middle of the week to just really highlight all my scores because I, I have so many I can't share them all in the regular show. So just show you the things that you should be on the lookout for when you're outsourcing. All right. Well, Speaking of uh, when you're outsourcing, what'd you okay. find this week? Mom? Oh, a lot, actually. So I'll see how much we can get through. If I don't show it all tonight, I'll save some for next week. Okay. Uh, hit a lot of garage sales, hit the Berea flea market this morning. So we were out and about quite a bit wearing our mask everywhere because now mandatory in Ohio as well. Okay, guys, picked up this Amstel Light uh, beer tap for a dollar, Jason. And this one here, I can get around $22.95 for it. Hang on. Let me get my dollars going for a okay. dollar. How's my, I, I, since I don't have the show on, how's my vision on the on the screen? Am I clearer? Best it's ever been, but now you've jinxed it because we've told the universe you oh. look good. Well, so if, I, if you've never tuned in, my mom has horrible internet, and usually by this point, we can't see her too well. Right. I don't know what's going on. I didn't want to jinx us. You are crystal clear. I to ask. Well, maybe because what they did on the hard reboot, I've been, I, I've had trouble all week long with the internet. Yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't want to put it out to the universe because you look good tonight. Yay! I'm oh, going out two and three times a day. So, all right, I'll move along. Okay, this is this is a great Christmas memories book from 1998. I paid 50 cents for it. It's really cool. Look at the in here. I just thought this was so cool. You know, to put your photos in. Oh wow! And it's an old timer. And I'm going to put this up for 29.99. You guys, these seem to sell pretty well. Okay. All right, so there's that. Oh, Jason, are you there? Yeah. What happened? Oh, Jason, what, what happened? Oh, no. Did I lose it? <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Okay. Um, these, this, these are a brand new in the box. See that word, bands? Yep. Okay. These are brand new right here, you guys, in the white. Still got the tag on the side. Uh, these are embossed suede. Uh, classic slip on. I paid three dollars for these, Jason. I'm going to lift them for forty four ninety five. For some reason, this one seems to bring some money. The man that owned these, he was going to, you know, like paint some some design on them or decorate them, but he never got around to it. So they are brand new. And Vans usually sell pretty well. Yeah, my uh, a lot of our tiki artist friends, they'll they'll custom paint your shoes for you. Right. So you know, if, if they were my size, I would have kept them and had somebody paint on those for me, Jason. Okay, your dad picked these up today at the Bria Flea Market. These are brass lighthouse bookends, which are quite nice. And they still have the original tag on the bottom. And we bought these for three bucks. And I'm going to put these up for $49, Jason. These sell pretty well. Oh, look at those. See? Cool. So they're Tiki Tony painting on someone's shoes. So yeah. you give them white shoes, pay them some money, and then you get back awesome Tiki shoes. 
That's very nice. All right, we pick up this rolling. Oh, what size are the shoes? Sorry. Oh, oh uh, by the way, if okay. you see anything you like, it's all for sale. Mom will cut you a direct deal. That way, you don't got to worry about putting it online and all that other. Okay. Women, it says women's seven and a half, men's six. They are slip ons. Okay? okay. Brand new. Okay. So we pick up this Rawlings baseball. And the reason we pick this up is because of this. Um, you know, pretty soon we will not be seeing Chief Wahoo any longer. And uh, those of you who are collectors, uh, you know, I just got a, an offer on my uh, Chief Wahoo blanket. So, you know, things are going to change. So, you know, if that's something that you're looking for, we picked up the baseball for 50 cents, you guys, and we'll probably sell it for around 20. Okay. All right. Okay, Jay, so I got some music here. Let's do music. Oh, music. Yeah. Let's see what you think here. Um, Mom picked this up. Jacques Bro. Bro oh, you're you starting know? to fade. See? Oh. You put it out to the universe. <laughs> do I need see? to go out? Do I need to go out? No, you're not that bad yet. All right, oh, let's see yeah. what you got here. All right. Okay, so I picked that up. It's a, it's a double, you know, like a box yep, set. Yep, yep. I, only, the, I only paid 25 cents a piece for these uh, CDs. Let me see the back of them now. Uh-huh. Now, I'm going to find out what I see. I, I think around 1995, I think. All right, very cool. Okay. All right, so there's that one. And then, well, this wasn't all that good, but for a quarter... According to what I did on my so Orleans, still the one, uh, maybe nine ninety nine. Well, it's got two albums on it, doesn't it? Turn it over. Yeah, yeah. I think, well, no, just one. I think, that, or does it? It's weird that no, that's two albums. That's two. Okay. Yeah, so, bring that back over here. Hold that up. I'm going to try and scan it on my end. What? What the uh, the barcode? Yeah. Let me see if I can scan it. Okay. When you were clear, I probably could have. Yeah, boo. Sorry. Uh, flip it over. I'll, I'll see if I can scan the cover. Okay. I jinxed it, I guess. Huh? Yeah, you did. Ah, got it. Okay. Okay. So here, here's modern technology. Mom holds it up to the to the camera, and I can scan it on my phone. And there it is. What'd you What'd you find? Still the one, and in uh, is it in good condition? Yes, it is. Yeah, about ten bucks. You're right on. About ten bucks. Okay, good. All right, now here's the one that I think might be worth some bucks. Called Two Heads. Have you ever seen Ooh. this one? Hmm, I don't think so. Let me see the back of that. By Malone and Nucci's. I think that's what, is, what it says. <laughs> yeah, I don't know them. Yeah. And according to my research, I think I should list it for around $32.50. Oh, nice. I know. I know. So there it is. Heck yeah. Yeah. Uh, in fact, there's one for sale for $39.95. So, you know, I was going in there. Okay. Hey, Tiki Bugs. Today at the, um, the Berea Flea Market, first thing we saw when we walked in, the lady had two bucks on him. But she probably doesn't know it's a Tiki Mug because the lid has the straw holder. And these are orchids of Hawaii. It's pretty faint, Jason, so it's hard to see it on this one. And they say Japan on it, everybody. And as you can see, she had $2 each. And I asked her if she sold me the pair for three bucks, which she did. So consequently, Jace, I will probably... You didn't get it for a quarter? No, no, no quarters. <laughs> now, now, here's a prime example. Now, those are not uh, super duper rare. They are vintage, but right. they're not like super desirable because they're just plain pineapple mugs. But this is the time when selling them together is a better way to do it. Right. Yeah, People so will pay for a pair more so than they'll pay for singles. Right. And I think I'm going to sell the pair, Jason, for around... Um, um, around thirty, thirty-five dollars because they, they they are oh 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 I gotta go back to my CD I gotta go back to my CD okay go back oh cool okay so will that make me make it more money yep okay and we're gonna put you to the test I want you to collage a picture together oh I can't do that <laughs> there's a whole how-to video in the secret beach oh god I, I I'll try I'll try so you want to have the front cover so people see it and then collage it with the inside signed cover. Well, I'm, we'll, we'll see. We'll have to think about that. Okay. Here's a Jeff Fox with the hat, but it's also signed. Nice. I know. So we did pay a dollar for this, but I'm going to put it up for 20 bucks. Hey, did you ever see the movie Fight Club? Yes, I did. What's the first rule of Fight Club? Oh, I don't know that. You don't talk about Fight Club. So going forward, the first rule of your internet connection, don't ever talk about it. Uh, you're right. I'm so sorry. That, 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 <laughs> don't let the universe know you look good. Well, I didn't yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Don't tell oh. them. Don't tell them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> these, are, these are kind of hooked together for the moment. I haven't taken them apart yet. But this is the uh, vintage press boards uh, that you might see, guys. This is Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, and some balloons. 
And I did pick this up for, what did I sell? A dollar, and I'm going to put them up for sale for about 15 bucks. Okay? One of the boot press boards. Okay. All right. Speaking of cookie jars, I got a beauty today. Wow. Look at this girl. Carmen. I call it Carmen Miranda. That's what That's what I looked up right away, guys, to see, you know. Uh, Don't break it. No, no. These sell really well, Jace. Um, it must be a sought-after item. Originally, of course, the hat does come off the top, of course. Um, but originally, I want to show you guys the bottom. He sold for $14.95. The original sticker's still on it. Well, everybody still has the original sticker. People don't care. And they are selling. I'm putting mine up for $55. They're, they're selling $45 to $75, Jace, on these. So Carmen Miranda, I'm going to call her, okay? All right, how are we doing on time? All right, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, well, let's just go to this sucker. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Wait, say it isn't so. You found a water ski? Oh my gosh, I'm in shock. I have the pair, but I'm a, I only brought over the one. Uh, <clears throat> these, <clears throat> excuse me, these are Voit, V O I T, Gringos. And the other thing that's real important is the A M F. You want to, these are vintage guys because they are made of wood. Uh, the guy asked, originally was asking $25 for them. <clears throat> and I, and I, dad came over and says, he only wants $25. He says, well, offer him 10 bucks. Well, we went over and offered him 10 bucks. He said, sure. I think he would have taken <laughs> you know, just that quick. So we're, we're, this is a cleaned up version. They were really filthy, dirty. I don't know. You know, water skis must get put in the back burner, guys, and probably buried in the garage or the basement forever because the dust on it was so thick you can't imagine. So this particular uh, set, guys, that we paid 10 bucks for, we are going to list for about $179. This, this, nice. This is, this is a good vintage one. And, and like I said, remember last week I said, oh, mommy's out of, out of uh, water season. You got to find some more. So All right. It's now that time for you to leave and try and refresh and come back. All right. See you in a bit, guys. That's Bye. How, that's how bad it's gotten. Ah, shoot. I shouldn't have talked. Bye. So I'll tell you a story. Mom called and yelled at her cable service for the millionth time. And the guy goes, all right, we're going to do this hard reset. And I guarantee it'll be good from this point on. I go, he used the word guarantee. And she said, yep. She's had a call four times since the guarantee. That's what happens when you live in the country and you have country internet. Yep. So hopefully, because it's a bummer. She goes, you know, squirrely when she's trying to show you guys the things that you should be looking for. So that kind of makes it a bummer that uh, uh, you can't see it as clear. So. All right. Okay. Am I bad? Good. Go. Oh, hesitate. Go. <laughs> Don't hesitate. All right. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Stop hesitating. Go talk. Okay. 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 All right. I did pick up a bunch of costumes that cost me 50 cents a piece. And this first one is a werewolf. Um, it comes with the chest hair. It came with the gloves. It came with uh, the wig and the makeup. Okay, for 50 cents, you guys, and I'm probably going to list this between 25 and 30 dollars on the costumes. And get your costumes up now, that's for sure. Okay, it's funny that Lori thinks you have DSL in the country. No, she has squirrels on a uh, wheel. Truly, <laughs> her fastest speed is slower than the slowest speed I could get. It's terrible. Okay, clown costume. I have three wigs, three wigs came with this clown costume. And uh, it, it looks like a, a kind of an older one, Jason, because look at the material. I mean, this is this is definitely, you All know. Right, hold it steady because you're not looking real good. So, okay. What, those are big balls. Those yeah. are. But I, I assume it must be a child's because it's not too big. So for this one for 50 cents, I'll probably list this around 15, 20 bucks. Nice. Okay. All right. Um, this one, it's a policeman. It says cop. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put this down. Okay. It comes with the shirt. Okay. <laughs> cop. And, yeah, cop. And and then all of the, we got the gloves. We have the badge. We got the chain. We've got the glasses. I mean, this is, you know, this is pretty cool if you want to be a cop. And ooh, we got handcuffs. I'll tell you, show dad those tonight. Oh, oh Jesus. Stop <laughs> that right now. That is not conversations here. This show is not about. I'm just teasing. 
Uh, uh, okay, I will do that. We'll do that. When it comes Bam. Every time they ship something big and, and hard, I go, where's the video and pictures? I know. Oh, I'll do better. I promise. I will do better. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to sell that for about twenty four ninety five. Now, this last costume, I have other costumes, but this last one, Jason, it said devil on it. So you've got, um, you got the ears, you got the horns, you got the tail. But... All right, move, ma, move slower. You're very oh, big. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, move slower. But it came with it, the red coat. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, now, Buffy the Vampire, did she wear something like this? No. No? Okay. She was a cheerleader. Oh, okay. All right. Well, well from the movie. I never watched the show. But yeah. So, uh, you know, with the coat on here, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not too sure. See, now you've taken us down a gross path. Now people want pictures of you with the handcuffs tonight. Stop it, Brian. Stop it. I'm going to I'm gonna put bleach in my eyes. Stop right now. We have to have some fun, don't we? Oh, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> my mother, please. So with this nice coat, guys, I I, I don't know, maybe 30, 30 or 40 bucks on, on That's that. That's pretty cool. Now, yeah. do, you, do you have a um? Do you have a full mannequin uh, with yes. head and everything? Yes. Ooh, yeah, because you not with a head. You're gonna have to do. Well, 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 we can attach a head. Yeah. So, because when you have that full those full costumes, you really need a full body mannequin so you can show the whole costume on yeah. and how it's gonna look. Okay. All right. Dad picked up this Winnie the Pooh plush. He's really in nice condition. I mean, the eyebrows are good and everything. You guys. He paid seventy five cents for this, and I'm gonna list this for about twenty one ninety nine on the plush. Okay, now this is cool. This is probably one of my better finds. Just, we went. I could. I was telling Jason we did garage sales in uh, more in the city on Thursday uh, uh, in a city, a little suburb called Linhurst, Ohio. There, it's like night and day compared to the country garage sales. And there's in in the city ones, they have very few items for sale, and they're very expensive. Out in the country, loaded with stuff, and usually pretty reasonable. But I did find this little baby that I really, really like, Jace. Okay. Oh, wow. This is a martini glass. And let me get it turned here. Come on. And the olive lights up. Ah, uh, that's, that's bitching right there. Is that cool? Now, it has the extra bulb. Uh, so we did look these up, you guys. I paid $4 for it. She had $5. But I paid four bucks for this, you guys, and I'm going to list this little baby for seventy nine ninety nine. Jason, it's um, they, they seem to be well sought after, and um, you know, so isn't that cool, everybody? I, I, really, I love it. Yeah, my mommy likes that one a lot. Okay, how are we doing on time? One more. You want me to do one more, and we'll call yeah, it. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, all right. We'll end up uh, with the. What we've been talking about Boy, the chat is on fire today. After a few martinis, I light up. <laughs> good. Um, let's see here. Let me see where I'm at. Okay. All right. So, um, I'm going to have to turn the computer for this. We'll end on another large item. Okay, I'm going to guess bicycle that has a TV tray on it and it's on water skis. <laughs> no. Watching uh, a TV VCR combo. Did I win? <laughs> oh, no. but you're, but you're close. Okay. A toboggan. All right, everybody. Oh, that is a bicycle. <laughs> another bicycle. Let's see which way I got to go this, this way, this way. There we go. There we go. This is a Huffy Regatta 26 nice. inch bike. Um, 1981, which, as close as we can get to that, you guys. Uh, it's a, a premium three speed bike. And that's tested out and rode it up and down the driveway. We pay, well, we're listing it for about $150. We paid six bucks. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and um, so, yeah, so we got this one and the pink one. Uh, I haven't got the pink one listed yet. I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. But um, and and again on the bicycles, I will start out with local pickup. But in my description, I did say if you need to have this ship, please contact me for pricing. So you know because we have shipped bikes before, and you can get your bicycle boxes at a bike store. So you know that would be another good avenue to uh, go and get a box. Yeah, Angelique's got a great tip. Unfortunately, uh, you know businesses go out of business all the time. This yeah. COVID nonsense has really uh, quickened the pace for some. And so bad for them. Good for us. If you have uh, these stores going out of business near you, that's where you pick up your mannequins. Go right. get them because mannequins just add so very much to the bottom line and showing how nice your products can look. And uh, 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 now Grace is talking about handcuffs to the headboard. Enough! <laughs> April, I saw, 
I saw April's post on selling her TV trays. She paid 15. She sold them for 200. Yuck, yes. Well done, yes. April. You. April I'll, wait, hang on, I'll give April some fireworks for that. Oh, yeah. That's, that is give April some fireworks. That's wow. Right. And a cocktail. Do, do yeah, you know, April, I haven't found, that's another thing I haven't seen lately is any good ones. I, I've seen a couple. Yeah. Of, but so you put it out to the universe. You will find them next week now. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Oh, by the way, the show's over and you're crystal clear again. Oh, <laughs> go figure, honey. I know. Welcome, I welcome, welcome. Now, I don't think all Lane Bryant's are closing. Don't forget, a lot of stores downsize their, their lesser stores. A lot of companies downsize their lesser stores. So not every company is closing as a whole, yeah. but you'll see like, you know, okay, we're closing 50 of these Sears. And then you look at the list. If it's near you, that's where you can pick up mannequins and, uh, you know, work tables and all kinds of stuff like that. Because don't forget, when stores go out of business, it's just not the product that you could flip if the price is right, but it's the ladders in the back room. It's the brooms. It's the mop buckets. Things that you might be able to just use right. for your office or your house. Oh, I've so, done that. Uh, mm -hmm. And there's always printers and telephone systems. So keep that in mind when stores are going out of business. It's not just about the front of the store. It's about the back of the store, too. Okay. Okay. I, I see April's note. They wanted, uh, they asked her how she shipped them. And she said, lots of pool noodles. And then in a box, April, you don't need the box, honey. Eliminate the box. Uh, just if you need to want to use your pool noodles, that's fine. Shrink wrap it. Uh, sometimes we put cardboard on if there's any sharp corners or on the legs, but just shrink wrap it and put on the label and away they go. We have shipped all of ours just like that. You do not need the box. Don't need the extra added weight, uh, you know, to, uh, to add to your shipping expense. Okay. Yup. All right. That's it. Another wonderful episode of Selling Past Your Expiration 8 being Thrifty or 50. Don't forget, mark your calendar Thursday night, 8 o'clock East Coast, 5 o'clock West Coast. We're going to be continuing the shipping conversation, but from the angle of what box should I use? What bubble right. wrap? Should I use right. peanuts? Should I use air pillows? So, and then Mark, Mark's been selling these kind of products for 25 years. He can answer all of your questions. So it's going to be a, a not the norm. Like we're not going to go over scores and duds with him. Obviously we're going to, we have a few questions prepared and then we'll let you guys ask questions about boxes and bubble wrap and stuff. So think about your questions as yep. you're shipping this week. What was your pain point in shipping and bring that on Thursday night. And that's what we'll talk about. Exactly. Exactly. That, that'll be great. Good follow-up. Yeah. Sure. All right. Thank you everyone for tuning in tonight. It was a wonderful show. Good to see everybody. Great live audience. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up down below, hit that like button and uh, we'll be back next week. So for selling past your expiration date, being thrifty over 50, I'm Jay. I'm Peg. We're gone. Bye-bye everybody. Thanks for watching.